So welcome back to episode like uh, 43 of uh, this thing that we're doing. Yeah, uh, Distant Nights. So, uh, Vom, do you want to go over what happened last time? Okay, last time we found the big moss rock. They did. We found some plant people, one of which is Ayana. Ayana. She knows who she is, which is a fucking splendid start. Uh, we've basically been like, hey, we'll get them all to come over to your place. It'll be a great time when we've figured out who everyone is and what the fuck they're doing with their lives. Uh, we know where the Undark entrance is, but like twice this time. And then we went back to Milikadi so people could go shopping, and then we need to go talk to Fazana to clear her brain, and then go into mountains. Mm-hmm. Okay, Bob. How much of last session did I miss? Most of it. Uh, I know I missed most of it. <laughs> yeah, so, um... You are planning to go into the, uh, the Underdark, you want? No, not yet. No? I thought the plan was Mount Asp first. Mount Asp, okay. Right now we're in yeah, Milikadi because we need to go talk to Fazana because... Uh, you are. In fact, I believe you. Well. That pretty much the last thing you did was walk out of uh, quote the magic shop, en route to uh, a certain certain library, just across the town squircle from you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never stop bringing that up. Hmm. We know, and we'll hate you more for it every time you do. I do you think it's funny. <laughs> Stop it, Lisa! Oh Aha! Encouragement! Yeah, Just what I needed! Yeah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so you uh, sort of congregate outside the uh, the magic shop and make your way to the squircle and across and over to the the, uh, the library, unless anyone wants to do otherwise. Uh, I mean, you can head on in. It's the same, like, huge... Uh, yeah, I was going to say huge giant. It's the same huge library you've seen before. Um, three floors. Pretty impressive, considering most libraries are like two bookshelves. It's this massive uh, like cross-shaped library. Um, with a, a sort of desk and set of uh, like staircases that lead up in the centre. Uh, what do you do? Was, did we see Fazana in like an office last time? Yeah, it was top floor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we had to, like... I don't remember if we had, like, a letter of introduction or something, but like, I think there was, like, a receptionist. Uh, yeah. Like yeah, you pretty much was like... While. You went to the receptionist and pretty much was just like, Hey, we need to talk, talk to this person. And they're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah they're, up, they're up top. And then you just went up to our office, mostly. We just did the same thing. I think actually like, she came hi, down to you yeah. and then took you up to the office, but yeah. Yeah, I think so. Well, like, hi, we're here to see I don't remember exactly, but it was something along those lines. Anyway, the, the office is on the top floor, which is above what you can see here, as the staircase ascends up through the ceiling. Okay. Yes, just go up to reception and be like, oi! Wonderful. So, uh... <laughs> that's great. I'm assuming everything's muted, because my... Yep, everything was muted. That makes more hey. sense. So, uh, what, what, what did I miss? Uh, a lot of silence, mostly. Okay, great, yeah. cool. But didn't miss that, because it was no, music. No, we're not going up to the desk. What's happening? Are you Sandlin, go I mean, Sandal was going up to the desk. Right, okay. Yep. Yeah, so you, you, uh, yeah, you head up to the desk. There's uh, a number of, suspiciously, elves at a desk in uh, what appear to be the sort of uh, uniform of the librarians you've seen before. I want to go up to the one that looks like is the most pushover. Okay. I want to go. Which one would Pandal think is the pushover? Uh, which one looks the most... In which one's like clearly trying to cover up their insecurities? Their deep-seated insecurities? Uh, none of them are obviously trying to cure cover up any insecurities. Uh, Damn it, that means they're good at it. Uh, they're the closest one, I guess. Uh, I don't okay, know. Yeah. Which one has the thinnest hair? Uh, that one. The closest one is bald. That's pretty fucking thin. We'll do that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you head over to this uh, this bald man who is uh, working away. Looks like he polishes the top of his head, maybe. Uh, Lovely. Yeah, it shines. Oh god. Hello, my radiant friend. Uh, we're friends of Fasana's and need to see her uh, quite quickly. Please and thank you. He sort of uh, peers over the edge of his spectacles at you. 
The friends of Fazan, as you say. Mm -hmm. That's us. All right. Do you have a name? I will inform her that you are here. Fox Machen. No. <laughs> Cut out there. What? Do you have a name? I will inform you. Uh, form her. You are here. Uh, I'm Pandal. That's Reeve. That we don't really have like a. It's not like a collective. Hello. Yes. Hello there. All right, Pandal and Sri. The ones that kept questioning her about like super old stuff. Oh my god! What did it go by the group that played sports or something? Pandal <laughs> and Sri, the archaeologists, of course. And Tia yes, that's us. Takes out a note of like a like a piece of paper and writes on it. And as soon as he like lifts his pen off, because he uh, writes in like cursive, and the second his uh, quill leaves the paper, it just burns up into nothingness. Oh, very well, she has been informed. As he's doing that, I'm just going to lean into Pandal um, with the subtlety of a six foot seven tall um, lizard folk leaning down to a three foot tall halfling. And I'm just going to whisper, Are we archaeologists? Uh, I think so. It sounds like it's got enough syllables. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What does an archaeologist even do? I think they're like, they look, they, they like, hang out with old stuff and cock hammers here. So I think. They, they, oh, they, right. they up oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> nice. Wait, what? What was that, Matthias? They dig things up, but indeed, I dig old, things up. Old things. Well, with care. Oh, mine's just mostly corpses. <laughs> so if you dig cock hammer up, then um, yeah. I think that's still digging up corpses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, after a few uh, minutes or so, um, a, a note sort of fizzles into existence on the uh, receptionist's desk. He sort of looks down at it and then looks over to you, Bob. Uh, Pendle and the archaeologist, she will see you upstairs now. Oh, wonderful. I don't like one. Pandal like, and the archaeologist! Oh, I don't feel like that. Thing. We're a uh, fucking band! Pandal and the archaeologist. <laughs> it's a shit band name, that's what it is. <laughs> yep. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, it's amazing. I think Dusty Fossils far better fits <laughs> oh my <our> god. <laughs> All about branding, kids. Neon um, Dirt, also a contender, anyway. You're awful. <laughs> so, you were. You head upstairs? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you make your way up the uh, long spiral staircase. You go up about four floors, and on the fourth floor it ends into a small room which has, like, uh, doors off to each side, one of which is labelled Fazana the Learned One. Um, it's it's yes, her no office. Knock. Yeah, you knock on the door and it swings open as you do so. Uh, it's the same view you've seen before of the top of the library. It's quite... Uh, What's the word? Um, it, it stick. There's a there's the office like area sticks out the top, and there's windows um, around the outside, so you you can see out across quite a lot of the town actually, or city I suppose. Um, but you're yeah. looking for the word balcony. What what do you? Not not a balcony, like a, a fucking. It's the penthouse suite, but it's offices sort of thing. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. It has a good view. Fuck off. <laughs> Either way, okay, uh, I wasn't sure. you can see out across the city behind uh, behind these windows, and uh, by said windows is Fazana, the Lion of One, at her desk with uh, a huge collection of books and papers just strewn everywhere. Ah, uh, Pandal and the archaeologists, apparently. Do, come uh, in. Yeah, apparently. It sounds like it's got enough syllables. Hi. Hello. Can I uh, help was you? It? Hello? Yeah, well... What was it we last spoke? I keep cutting uh, out. I don't think we've yep, met. We uh, she looks at you. I don't believe we do. And then to Mali, and also uh, She of a Thousand Eyes. I'm pretty sure Matthias has. Oh, well, they had nerd chat. No. Matthias Greenfield, a pleasure. Uh, was that not Sarah? I think that was, yeah. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I think so. I think even Sarah never got here. Yeah, Sarah. I'm pretty sure Matthias has met. Wait, was it Matthias? 
Uh, Someone so... had a nerd chat with her, and it was not yeah. me. Yeah, it, it might, was it not Sarif. Might have been Matthias. Uh, no, it can't have been because she, uh, because Matthias left when when did Matthias leave? Matthias left when you guys went to go thingy, and you guys went pretty much straight to um the the, the automaton place after meeting Fazana last, right? Oh yeah, shit. So no, Matthias hasn't met her. He can't have done. Yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah. It, it's a pleasure, and and she like locks to Marley and she has a thousand eyes. I suppose, sort of expectantly. Wonderful. Hi, sir. Where, where did you pick up she has a thousand eyes? She's never left. She did leave. She was with the plant people. Yeah. yeah she, she was just oh. hanging out with the Arna yeah, because it turns out it's yeah. Fuck, we should have just tried the gate again and fuck us sideways, right? No, but she wasn't there no, in the I'm weird so room in and after there, death. I was meditating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we went we went to the plant place. We found the plant lady. She was there already. Oh. Yeah. We found out it was a touching reunion. You miss. You all cried. You missed it. Uh. Honestly, very emotional. Shreve's tears, turns out, acidic. Yeah. He Yay. has holes in his loincloth now. Don't look down. Um, oh, God. <laughs> blew his nose on the fire. I oh, can't oh, have no, his arm, that's why it doesn't have skin on it anymore. <laughs> coins are going to be final, falling out everywhere. <laughs> Sad times. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, it is, is it a pleasure hard? to meet you. So, what I can I I'll do for you? Back. No, you won't. What can I do for you? Uh, hi, so you know the last time we were here, uh, we were sort of rambling about, like, the world is ending and we might need you and you might be, like, super cool or whatever. Remember that? Yes, that was an interesting discussion. Uh, yeah, well, we were right, so that's pretty good. Uh, you're, like, super duper powerful, like, way more than you think you are, even though I'm sure you have a great self-image considering all the books you've written. I'm well aware. Of, of the fact you're a goddess, or of a different fact? I have been told, yes. Okay. Yeah, but do you remember, though? Because there might be an issue there that we can fix now, because, uh... Not particularly. Progress. Am I supposed to? Ah, uh, well, we don't think so. We think you will be able to, if, uh, you let Cockhammer here, like, poke around a bit in Hello. the old <laughs> walnut. Oh god. <laughs> she looks at him like, uh, questioningly. Alright. Right. Don't worry, he looks good for his age. It's fine. Yes, that's what oh, yeah, worries last me. <laughs> last time we met, I said, like, my normal arm. Yeah, you yeah. Can, uh... Is this going to be a co- Why are half your group made of metal now? I don't it's know, I don't... think we're, we turned into some weird cult now. I see. Adventurous. Let's just leave it at that. Cold. Yeah, ar archaeological digs. What can you say? Crazy stuff happens, right? Oh. Yeah, like we digged up him there and found out to a dice. Doug. Crap. I see. I got the English guys. But of course, right. Yeah, that, that makes sense. You were saying something about a spell? Gonna like point to Coghammer. You were saying uh, something about a spell? She like turns to Coghammer. Uh, y y some, yeah, something like that. Alright. Do go on. I'll, I'll take out whatever piece of remove curse is. Sure, what is remove curse? If I, if I just focus on this thing and like, like hold your hand or something, it, sh it should fix it. Um. She like looks at it dubiously. You know what? I have no idea who you people are. What's the worst that could happen? She like. Oh, well, he let like a spirit. seventeen, a seventeen-year-old like, girl. Grab her hand. Fine. That. Uh, then I'll cast remove curse. Yeah. As you're doing that, she looks at you, Pan, and says, "Wait, he did what with who?" Never mind. Just. 
Uh, okay, go ahead and make me an Arcana check, Cog Hammer. Ugh, oh, let's use luck. Oh. Hey, that's better. better. That's better. 26. Nice. Okay. So. You cast Remove Curse on her. You don't feel any difference. You don't sense any difference. Nothing seems to happen. She is not currently under the effect of anything considered a curse. There we go. Right. She, like, takes her hand back. Like, sort of locks it over to see if you've, like, stabbed her or something. And... What... What's going on? What happened? You've now realized your all-powerful past is a goddess of knowledge, and you're gonna be like, you're gonna help us not have the world be eaten? Uh... Sure. Yeah, pff, yeah! No, yeah, I, I know. Spirit. No. What do you... It's not the spirit? Different spirit? I don't know. What are spirits? Oh, they're like, you know, it's like... Uh, Strong drink. Karen. Yeah. Oh. That's a... Not my spirit. I drink tea. Oh, that's... That's uh... not a spirit. Yes, exactly. What... Are you trying to do? I don't feel any different. Trying to make you remember? Yeah, Cog Kama. What? 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 Uh, I mean, I did the exact same thing. I mean, I don't remember a lot of things from a long time ago. It was supposed to be a long time ago, right? Yeah, are you just forgetful? Not really, it's just a very long time. So you just don't, is it that you don't remember because it's too long ago and it's that simple? Maybe. She looks slightly confused. Uh, well, well the only thing different is I, is I didn't dig it into her mind this time. Do you want to try like, doing that? That might be good. I don't know. I'd rather you didn't. It's, well, it's, it's kind of up to her. Yeah, but she'd rather you didn't, so it's like, oof. It's all fine, maybe, yeah, okay, listen. Worst case scenario, you've just forgotten a bunch of stuff, and that's fine, happens to everyone. Old age, Cockhammer doesn't even remember what his feet look like, and he looked at them like 10 minutes ago. Point I... is... <laughs> You just forgot, don't worry about it. Um, we do have to worry about it. My cock on my feet? What, what if we hit her over the head or something? Let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might make the problem worse, but it is an option we should consider. How is that going to help his feet? <laughs> well, it's like it'll be like balance it out, you know? If you hit the head, then the right. feet will change as Off well. Off topic, right. regardless. Do you want to help us save the I, world? I hit Cockhammer over the head with a mage hand. Hey guys! Um... <laughs> Not hard. Slap. <laughs> clang. Oh yeah, clang. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, what were we? Are you sure this is the right person? Or, like, what are we basing this off? Uh, like a... A bunch of hearsay and, uh, the word of... Pious, you know, one of the other ones. So... Well, but didn't she also not know that she was a god? But she was like a bit like, ooh, I don't know. Also, she was kind of an asshole to us, so I don't know how to know how much it was true. But I'm pretty, we were pretty convinced beforehand anyway. But we get this this tip off. I don't actually remember, but we got it from somewhere before, because she recommended us to go to Pius. What was that about? Yes, she did. Tell me. Also, sort of fact that she's like super old. Yeah, she's also a billion that. years old and super duper smart. Oh, sorry, I'm back. Like, oh, no, she doesn't look super old. Maybe she, maybe you were a god, but it's just like too long ago and you don't remember. Yeah, that's what I what I said. I don't. Oh. See you, for, you. See, we all forget things. You we forgot what you just said right now. So that's it's fine. Wait, what did I just say? I don't even remember. Point is, 
is that if we just like, yeah, you know, bring you bring you over to like a big old party, we'll get your old friends together, right? And then we'll have like a big old brainstorming session. We'll be like, hey, let's not have, the, you know, the rest of the world get eaten by black goop like Ezith did. And it'll be great. It'll be, we'll have a great time. We'll make drinks. You'll fix everything. It'll be great. Right. Do you okay. know Maybe, anything you know, have... about what's going on up in Ezith? Uh, sort of. So we think it's connected to this guy called the Last God, who's not very nice. We... That... Yeah, that, that would be a given. There's a sort of plague eating everything. Uh, yeah, well, we think it was caused by him. It was like a child sacrifice, and we think that plague that's eating everything, as you put it, centered on where the child sacrifice happened. Uh, so that's the thing. And that he was there. He was like, oh, I'm super powerful, and then was like, super powerful. And we were like, oh, God, super powerful. It's about there. That is pretty much what happened. <laughs> pretty much what happened. <laughs> well, that made way too much sense. Yeah, well, we've, like, had some chats with people and stuff. Sure. I wasn't there. Yeah, Molly wasn't there. Molly didn't meet him. He was, I mean, he was kind of, like, a bit, like, self-righteous and stuff. And then we didn't get along well. My condolences, I suppose. Um. Oh, yeah. So, where, what's... Now what? Oh, we were just going to, like... Well, we were sort of going to ask you to help us by like, coming to like a big get together we might be hosting soon, like south of like Lassero and like the south area. That's like plant people there. They're great. They're like really slow to move places. So we were sort of hoping that we would just get everyone else there. It's a bit of a trek, but sure. Why but yeah, not? but we, yeah, we'll, like, we can do back. it faster. We'll be like bush thing. Because I assume you want to like stay here for now, but then like when it's time, we could be like, whoa, Milikadi, coming up. We'll be like Fazana. Knock, knock, time to go, and then you just have to be like, oh, well, sorry, gotta save the world, and then, you know, we'll have a great time. A little road trip that'll last like 30, 35 seconds, and then you'll be there. You know what? Sure thing. That was you easy. sound very convinced, but I'll take it. Probably sounds a little bit like I'm gonna walk into a trap, but... Do you think any of us are smart enough to trap you? Nor do I, so I think we'll be fine. What would we want out of you anyway? He definitely isn't. That's You're insulting my intellect. Yeah, well... He's really not. I think I've written a book taller than you. <laughs> so have I, actually. <laughs> Gives you a bit of a quizzical oh, no, look. I'm gonna do the equivalent of an air horn on the flute. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? Uh, she said, I think I've written a book taller than you. <laughs> nice. Right. All, all the rest of the short people party are like, oh shit, get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> You're small, Keck. Um, Even Molly's like that and she's small. <laughs> sure. You know what? Okay. Anyway. Uh, I stand taller. So I, I don't see... Why not? Yeah, that'll be fun. Okay, thanks. Alright, well, yeah, good talk, I guess. In touch, someone has have any questions? Do you have any questions for us? When are you leaving? Well, like, Melikardi or like to go to the party? M my office. Oh, uh, preferably as soon as possible. Does anyone else have any questions? No. Wait, how are, are we going uh, to Milikati to travel or to Lassero? What's happening? How, how's that, how does that work? We're well, going to come back here, Milikati. pick you up, then head to Lassero. We'll just like, you know, make game. Wait, so, so we're going to the other people, convincing them, then teleporting them over one by one? Uh, pretty much, because like, this one's easy to get to. If we'd known yeah. when we went to Vimfi, we would have got her there already, because like, she wasn't really doing anything, and you'd bring a dog, it'd be great. But... You know, which I don't know if plant people have much like blood. It's like sap. I feel I might get sticky stuck in their teeth. That's not the point. And we can like get to Pius easy, but then we can nip over. And if we find like Astra, Top Man Asp, we'll be like, "Hey, so you're a pain to get to. Just like come with us." And she'll be like, oh, "Of course, let's save the world." And then she'll come with. Got it. So are we going to the Underdark next? Should we go up Mount Ass first? Was that not the plan? Is everyone... I don't, I don't 
can't remember the password. Right, I'm going to look at the rest of everyone. I think that's why we're still in hot office being a pain. I don't care. I hey, think I that was the plan. plan. Yeah, that's what I thought the plan was. Yeah. I sort of hope that was the plan. <laughs> I don't have a clue what the plan is because, yeah. Because you're right, yeah. yeah. My understanding of the plan was we do this, we then go to Mount Asp, get Astra, then we do On the Dark. Okay. Miss Susanna will be back for you in like some time. Okay. Don't no. be too quick. Bye. Why not? Are you try to find as much stuff as you can about the, the shit that's going down up there. Yeah, sure. Just, whatever. Just one of the smart ones. I'm sure you can figure something out. I. Contrary to popular belief, I do have things to do. If you'll excuse me. I mean. Preventing death is pretty important. So is the yeah, paperwork I... that I have due. We're on that. Like, sort of See around. impatiently waits for you to leave. Yeah. yeah. Practically walk out. Okay. Yeah, you, you head out into the sort of r upstairs room in this uh, library. Well, I think that yeah. went well. She seemed pretty laissez faire about the whole world ending thing. <laughs> yeah. Come on, like, look at my piece of metal for a move, course. I think she needs a holiday. Start buffing it. <laughs> sure. Yeah, well, I mean, if she says she'll do it, then, like, whatever. And if there's nothing, like, no blockage up there to clear, then, I mean, I guess there's no blockage, but. Sort of running on hopes and dreams at this point, and we don't have time to really do anything else about it. So. Yeah. Are we, all, are we all done here? No more errands? No more love interests to go see? No. Done that. We'll have to next time, I suppose. Well, you know, if it's around next time. Don't you want to give her a goodbye kiss? Can we go um, to the mountain okay. now? Yes, yeah. we can. I want to fucking put my face to the fucking box. Okay. Box, box, box. I want to find one closest to the peak of Mount Asp. Go ahead Close. and make an intelligent saving throw, I believe it is. I gotta say that sentence would be a lot more funny. That's there. twenty. Disappointing. I to face the box. No. Stop. <laughs> okay. Stop. stop, stop right. <laughs> so. Hit pause on yourself. <laughs> hey Rick, wanna hear a joke? The word penis. Yeah. I hope you're laughing for like next ten minutes. What were you saying? Oh my God. <laughs> Fucking. Hell. See, gig dodgy. So. <laughs> no, this is not because. Of the... Oh fuck. God. Uh, what? What happened? Can we take turn you? Are we good? Do we take a break? I just, to, I just wanted to assert my dominance over Rick. Let's, <laughs> please continue. Are we okay? Are we done bullying Rick? Go! Uh, just wanted right. to make a point! No. Go! Okay. So, um, you put your face to the box, uh, in English, and um, you focus on the idea of uh, a gateway near the peak of Mount Asp. And as you uh, focus and you focus, your vision narrows on the eye before eventually uh, going black. And you, uh, you feel a gateway. You feel cold around you. Warmth looking up one side. And on the other is a sort of uh, a strange feeling of uh, almost... Um, something hanging from one side. Oh dear. But there's something in the middle. In the very middle of the gateway. It feels solid, like bricks. And around you, you can feel what appear to be floorboards, maybe? Wooden planks. What? You can feel stone foundations. And then after a brief moment of more confusion than anything, you're, uh, Vision returns to you. Okay, so that one felt like super weird, but not like last one super like different super weird. There's gonna uh, be something on the other side that's not a trap, you mean? Maybe. It might be like there's like something like in the gateway. So if you like walk through and immediately get like a smushed your face is smushed into a pile of bricks. Sorry about that. Should I go first then, just in case? I mean, if you're offering, why not? I'm Don't forget your mask. Here. Okay, you'll put your masks on. 
Yeah, mask up like a little door pad in the face. Be cold. Be cold. Just mind putting a mask on. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna boop the button. Go there. Okay. So, as you summon a gateway, you see the, uh, the sort of far wall in front of you begin to split and bend open, almost like Doctor Strange style, just bending like, in on itself and opening up. And as you do so, it opens up. And you see roaring flames licking up the other side. And Oops. it's quite hard to see past that because you're in a relatively otherwise dark room. You know, I've changed my mind up a little bit. Uh, but you see oh. flames licking up in front, and after a moment or two, you make out what appear to be a room beyond. You appear to be attempting to step out of a fireplace. Oh my Ooh. gosh, this is dramatic. I love it. I run through the fire. Okay. Uh, I'm Santa Claus! Roll me a dexterity saving throw. Oh god. Wait, couldn't we have sent an iron first? Yep. That would have, you know, maybe worked, but we've sent a Marley in. It's like close enough. She's got two eyes. One of them is weird. I am Santa Claus. Okay. Uh, How about okay. we send another Ryan just in case? <sighs> She's uh, got two. No, she doesn't. Uh, you take five points of fire damage as you run through this really hot fire. Like, it is excruciatingly warm for the fire in a fireplace. And out into what appears to be uh, the living room of a small cottage. And you'll see Marley disappear through the flames. And Ooh. she's sort of too small to really see past past them anyway. Hey, you were alive! Yep! Hey, that sounds pretty good. That's promising. Little crispy. You have to go fast. I just like try and press to the fire. Yeah, he put out. You press to it, it goes out. Okay. You walk through. <laughs> I'm <laughs> a suit. Okay, yeah, you, you yeah. follow. You all. I'll go off dryers. Okay, yeah, she so. she like uh, f follows you guys through once the uh, the fire's out. I just want to point out that I looked way cooler than all of you. You did, but like the hair just there, yeah, singed. Oh no, she did look really cool though. Mm. No, yeah, no. no a a voice cool. from above you says that. Oh, As I hear a voice that isn't at the party, I'm gonna immediately check that everyone's through, then relight the fire with Presto. Yeah, you do that. And uh, I assume close the gate. Oh, yeah, no, close gate, relight the fire. Okay, yeah, you, you close the gate and relight the fire, and it roars back up to its. Uh, like, you should be controlling like a, a small candle like flame, but it. This is roaring fire for some reason. Can I see you? Uh, nice fireplace. You see what appears to be a face sitting uh, like on the on the rafters. There is a, there's a figure made almost. They're almost two dimensional. You can't get any depth to them. They appear to be almost just a Make hollow a in the universe through which you can see. Uh, what, for you, is actually quite an unusual sight, uh, one you've never seen before. It's a blackness full of tiny pinpricks of light, some slightly twinkling, some larger, some not so much. Gives off an ever so faint, dull glow, and you see a almost human-looking face looking down at you from where this figure is uh, sitting. Hi! Uh, who are you? Why are you in my house? Can I help um, you? What's going on? Hope it was a really cool that? entrance. Yeah, that's me! Do I do I know you? Do you know me? No, but we know you! Have we, uh, that's terrifying! Who are you? Uh, your, your house is built on a gateway, so that's why we entered in your house. Sorry. Well, we were looking for you because you're a goddess. Are you aware of that, or is that like new information? Which uh, one of these are we doing today? Uh, yes, my house has a fireplace. Uh, it also teleports sometimes. I've had a few people burn through it, that's why I built the gestures to the fireplace. And no, a what? Who? A goddess. 
Uh, what? Uh, I don't. I don't remember the notes, but you're a goddess of one of them. Uh, yeah, the, saying the same word doesn't help. Okay, they're like super powerful people, and also, are you aware of what's happening in Ezith right now? Because that's bad. Not really. Been a little while since I went. It's going to shit. That's mighty shame. Can I help? On the continental it's scale. Being eaten by that's... like black well, plague smoke. Great dust is more accurate than shit. Should probably not go there then. Thanks. I guess I'll. Oh yeah, well it's sort of coming to you. It's like a holiday destination you can have a staycation for. I guess I'll uh, remove that from my travel plans then. Is what? What's going Enjoy. on? Um. She sort of basically hop hops down from the rafters. And almost floats gently down. Not quite, you're but like one almost. Of, you're one, one of seven of gods. The left side persons? Yes. This awesome. is the reason yeah. that race exists. Yeah. Awesome. You're one of seven gods, but there's an eighth one, and that eighth one's currently fucking everything up. Right. You keep saying now, that word. They're super powerful people, I've explained it. They're like. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm just an ice farmer. Imagine. The, what? I'm an ice okay farmer. Yeah. I have a bag just full of snow. Do you want some? Uh, not Don't really. You need I... that. We're living on a mountain. Right. Um, I might have a way to bring your memory block. bag. Ha Wait, hang on. How long have you been an ice farmer? Ah, uh, the last. Uh, she like pulls out what appears to be a pitch black. Uh, well, actually, it would appear to be the the same sort of uh, starry material as her. So it appears to be a pocket watch by silhouette and like looks at it. Uh, puts it down on the table, looks at it. So it suddenly turns into a pocket watch. As you can see it, and is no longer covered in stars. Right, uh, about 3,000 years. Picks it up, puts it away again. Right, you definitely classify as goddess. I, I, I mean, there's old people. Is that, is that what that means? Okay, are you also powerful on the mag magic wise? Not really. I farm ice, not mana. Right, one doesn't exclude the other. Do you want some tea? I feel like you need tea. Sure. Can I, like, Doesn't start giving nice. her a basic rundown of everything that I learned from Buttercup? And see if it sparks anything? Uh, you can certainly try, so but she's not listening. I've thrown these last side hours in him. Aftermath, which she was based off. Yes. Uh, she doesn't. You, you can certainly try, Marnie, but she doesn't really seem to be paying attention as she is now distracted by going to go and get tea. And immediately stands up to go and do that. Uh, she sort of walks over to uh, where there's a sort of kettle and uh, some of the stuff set up uh, almost kitchen like in the. Uh, uh, over to one side and starts preparing tea. So, so, yeah, that's. Uh, do you need? How did you recently hit your head? Do you need to lie down? Do you know where you are? Have you I tried top Mount Asp, I hope. Have you tried like holding your nose and blowing through your ears really hard? I'll try. Definitely, your ears definitely pop. I'm gonna presto just steam, just steam coming out of Marley's ears. That's a lot so of steam, steam comes oh out God. of your ears, Marley. What was in that fire? Uh, it's mostly fire. Huh. Have, do you feel better? Do you know where you are now? Um, are you still Well, I, I knew where I was anyway, but I have a little bit less of a headache. Right, that's what I was going for. I, are you still confused? Are still not making any sense? Oh, well, I mean, that story I learned from um, my friend Buttercup, who knew all the goddesses. Yeah, I don't know anyone by the name of Buttercup. Well, he's not actually called Buttercup. He's go called, like, blah, 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 blah. but, like, I can't pronounce his name. So. I don't know a failed ever there either. <laughs> He is, he's right. well, he's something he's he's yellow and okay. he looks like I described Some, what, what he looks like. Something about. different. Um does the name Finfin really ring a bell? No, never heard that before. But Hija. No. Sound like that. Hija. 
sort of just gives you a questioning look. Uh, oh, yeah, well, that might be you, so... No, no, I'm uh, Astra. Yeah, but it, like you might be also Hyja. No, it's okay. sort of a long Why do you say it like that? No, I'm pretty definitely. You have to say Hyja. Just stop. It's what like, about what? the name Yana? No, Astra. No, I'm not talking about your name. People you might know. I don't know. A bunch of people walked out of my fireplace and interrupted my reading time and are now confusing. I don't know any of these people. What do you want from me? Of books. Nice. Uh, tea? Tea's ready. Hey. She's like, Stop can, you pouring the, tea. can you do the memory thing, Cockhammer? No, I don't. Yeah, hey, can Cockhammer poke very around very in your brain? Uh, no. Don't put it like that, you idiots. Hey, can Cockhammer fix he your got brain? That, My um, brain's fine, thanks. He got can... something that can fix your memory loss if you have any. If I you don't, don't have memory happen, loss. Don't worry. I remember that. Well. You wouldn't no, you remember wouldn't. if you had memory yeah, loss. Yeah, that, that was the joke. Get it? See? Like, it's funny. Okay. I No, I don't I don't have memory loss. I'm fine. No, you... Look, nothing will happen if you don't have any problems, so... Yeah, but try. I don't know you, and you just walked out of my fireplace and are demanding things of me. Well, and okay, you but, haven't okay, even had you... tea yet, what so... Do you re... I what do you remember? can't hear a thing. What's Let her thing. serve the bloody tea. Yeah, I mean, she is serving tea as this is happening. Take a sip. It's is it nice? Uh, it is it is way too hot. As in, like, it is... I'm presto water. calling it. Can you just comes straight you? off the kettle. Uh, just pours it into yeah. uh, mugs with uh, tea leaves in them. And... Yeah, it's... Uh... Oh, then it needs to steep. I mean, yeah, it bit. needs to steep for, for a bit. It's being poured. The kettle is being poured. It's, you know... Another teapot? Well, what do you Gross. remember about the world oh. ending, like? Twice in your lifetime. Ah, uh, it hasn't mostly. That would be the thing that I remember about that. You know, because it hasn't. Still, still here. We're still here. So clearly, it didn't. Ah, uh -huh, got, got, got you there. I, I get the feeling we should just start from the start here. Oh, wow, that's a, a revolutionary idea. I'm so proud of you. Cockhammer, you should, like... No, Cockhammer, you shouldn't right now. Huh? Nothing. I'm just gonna take it from the beginning. Yeah, I think we'll While just go from the top. Read our thoughts. Okay, so what's uh, the top? What's the start? What, what what are you talking about? Um, we should explain what we know from the top, or are you going to make yeah. us do it for like the fifth time? Uh, I'm kind of tempted to make you do it for the fifth time because it changes oh. each time. Hello? Yeah, Hi. but can we just Hello? add the new information? Yeah, but it's more it's, like... it's not just the new information, it's you guys just keep forgetting bits because nobody uh. has consistent notes. Uh, well, I had to get someone else's, that didn't help. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, if anything, that should make it more consistent, right? Yeah. Well, no, because no. I had the decent notes about this bit, because Matthias wasn't there for half this bit. Yeah. So, I don't have any notes on the bits that I need to have notes on. It's not even my fault. Okay. S d d roughly, what do, what do you tell her? Well, tell her about, like, in the beginning, mm -hmm. this was the bitch with the goddesses. This, that, there was a forbidden one. We'll go world ending one, world ending two. Hello? Okay. Uh, Hi. So if oh thank God, finally my internet is working. You're starting Hi. with them existing, but then also the world ending one. No, we're gonna we're gonna go chronologically. Okay. From what? Uh, go for, hey, the, we'll just, we'll keep it separate from her for now. Like in the beginning, this sitch. Okay. I mean, we'll trust see us. It'll much. make sense later. So in the beginning, everything was exactly as it is now. And then the world ended, and then the world unended, basically. Ah, uh, pretty much. <laughs> okay, cool. Not even close, but yeah. Um. Well. Well, no, but I already explained all the stuff that Buttercup told us about what the world was like, right? So it's like... Yeah, we just. Yeah, sure. She knows that. Uh, right. So that's a wild fairy tale. Why did you walk out of my fireplace to tell me this? Because the world's ending and we need your help. As we did say, we like opened with that, but clearly you were distracted by tea. Are you illusions? 
Yes. No. no. Uh huh. Solved it. Why You're is... a genius. Now you will please just like listen to the words we say rather than just pretend. Uh, I could, but I'm not. I was reading. It was a good book. Again, the fact you have books there is very impressive. Yeah, you've interrupted my poetry. What? I'm terribly sorry about that, but that book's not going to run away. Yeah, I mean, okay. Pandal has candy. 20 charisma and wrote plays for profession professionally for 30 years. I didn't. Can I deliver this in the form of a poem? Uh... Can I sure. a performance to deliver this in the form of a, the fucking story in the form of an epic poem? Go so for it. Fucking... <laughs> just oh, on oh, the spot. Oh, oh, yeah, just on the spot, just go. I was like, that's a 34. I was like, gonna spell for this, but uh, that's uh, a, spell, a spell I have in you. You know what? I like fun. Oh. Add a 10 to that as well, because I fucking oh, hate oh my everything. God. Good, because the DC is 40. Oh fuck, 38. <laughs> That'll have to do. Oh, sadly, no you can't. Yeah, yeah, you fucking can. Yeah, 38, <laughs> there we go. I do the thing. Pad was far more eloquent than I. You beat an impossible class DC by 8. Yeah. <coughs> Hell yeah. I kind of will try and handle the special effects. <laughs> yeah, I'll get my like, yeah. I'll give I'll one of them my... Like, I'll give one of them my... Woo! Like... Oh, that, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give Sarif my light ring so he can do lighting. I'm like, hold it up. <laughs> okay. okay, so you, uh... Yeah, you, you tell a poem. You make a poem about, uh... About this, uh... The, the current events and how they got to be. So uh, I just power through doing that. She seems to listen much more to the poem than... Random people telling her things. Yeah. At the end... Was, oh, where'd you hear that one from? That's a good one. I should definitely learn that. Who wrote that? I did just now for you because you're special and a goddess and we really would like your help as explained in verse 14. Yeah, but I don't believe you. Do you want to come to Ezit with us to come and have a look? Uh, not really. Might kill people. That's, yeah, probably not bad. I thought you said that okay. there was just sort of grey dust there. That doesn't sound very fun. It's boring. Exactly. It's not. That's sort of the point because there wasn't before yeah. as, you know, verse 13 was talking about. Right. Well, like, yeah, quite I mean, nice. I that. I've been there before. I know that. Well, that's, yeah, that's that's yeah. fun, right? I, uh -huh. I just I, did. I, I so I didn't need to name drop the. Okay, I don't need to name drop the tourist board anymore. That's fine. Just thought you know, I'd make sure. See, the thing is, we kind of want to prevent that grey dust from coming everywhere. Literally. Yeah. Consider sort of building spreading. a wall. I uh, will see. Thing is, there's there's smart ideas like that, which is why we want you at the brainstorming session. Right. Well, we got no one who's orange. I think you might be slightly crazy. I I'm not going to dispute that. Yeah, but... Shut up, Matthias. Remember, it's your fireplace that brought us here, so maybe it was death. See, even your tiny elf agrees that you're crazy. <laughs> he's not wrong, though. Yes, that's... He's not a, he's not a elf, he's a gnome. Uh, I don't think all he right, is. Right, he's definitely right, a small right, right, half-elf. Right. Can we please, please, please just try this little mind thing to see if your if your memory's being a goddess or what? Absolutely not. It's not gonna hurt. What was the verse twenty four not gripping enough and convinced you of Infant's transformation into a better person? I that mean, not. It, it was wonderful, oh, but I I don't have random hallucinations about parents that don't exist. Well, yeah, because maybe they just, like, did a better job this time. But if they did, then literally nothing bad can happen to you because of how the magic works. So... I don't... Yeah. I don't think... She, like, looks at you, like, questioningly. Why would they find more... Like, who even is these supposed villains? Well, is that, that's the point, as we don't know it. It might be the guy I talked about, who uh, we met, by the way. Not very nice. Uh, and who's, we suspect, making the black dust, and we sort of need all the six goddesses to sort of help deal with that. Same way they did last time, which is why, and we have it on very, very good authority that you are one of them, and either you've forgotten, or there's something blocking you from remembering, or it's been a rough day and you don't want to deal with us, which honestly, I sort of understand, but like, we're sort of really desperate to not have the entire world be destroyed. 
So we're going to pain you about it anyway. But none of them remembered, so why would I? Well, they did remember after... Uh... No, they didn't. One did remember after we helped. Nope. Using magic. Uh, no, she didn't. But she... how they fixed it? She knew that she was uh, not who she was told she was by whoever had fucked with that mind, but um, uh, none of them have ever remembered being anything else. That's why we put them all on the same room and see if they can chat. together and then, like, the magical will explode because paradox or something. Uh, what? What? Why, that would be bad. Like, good explode. Oh, yeah. look at the flux. Are you those people? Mm, no. Are there people who are with people? the flux? Yeah, they're like causing it or something. I don't know. Like big and got three eyes. No? They're big right. and got three no, eyes and they're like trying to eat it or those. something? Yeah, creepy guys. That sounds terrible. They are creepy. It's lopers. A gunny. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it was uh, Larkin. Dickhead. Uh, yeah, we 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 knew some of them a while back. Are you secretly like three-eyed big people? Is that why you're hiding as being so small? Because you don't get size differences. Like the last one was hiding as being small. Are you? Uh, Is that what's going on here? No, you no, we're not going to be small. Born, for that. I was born like this. I don't know. That's, well, that's a lie. She was born smaller than this, and then grew uh, up. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, whatever. I nearly had you there. Yeah, almost. So you're good at this. Yeah. No, honestly, we don't know. We don't know things. We are running on very little information, but also sort of. Well, yes, I give off that demeanor. I'm aware. But we're very desperately trying to have the world not end, and we're sort of hoping if we smush the relevant people together in the same room, you'll have a brainwave and fix something. Okay. Why don't you prove it then? Because what? we need you. To come with us to a place to prove that. Okay, let's go. You have to get Maybe everyone first, not. but you can go there now if you want. You can bring your book. So you're not going to prove it. Plenty of books on us. Well, we don't have all set. We don't have all set people together yet. We're working on that. Uh, if we came back for you and then proved it, would you be happy? Not really. Oh, what's what's the difference with of of time here? Because it gives you time to like fake things. Why would we? Why, what would we gain from faking this? Honestly, it's been a long couple of weeks. Yeah, but it's really suspicious. Right. What? Well, I'm very charming. I... I've rolled a thirty-four on my persuasion check. I'm very charming. To be honest, which con man would you, would go as far as to claim the end of the world? Like I don't know, like the last three that came this way. Most Wait, of the ones that they make might the hike from them. Ezith, where the world is like actually currently ending. No, they from were from the 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 one she, like gestures uh, vaguely in a direction. You're not actually sure of the direction. Uh, we don't know outside. Like... Yeah, uh, they're from the fucking the city that way. The 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 four like levels or whatever that one. Apparently that one's like burning now. So. Mm. Oh, Avril's burning. That's probably not good. Avril, that's the one. Wait, yeah, Avril's what? burning? Yeah, apparently there's like a fire thing, and now it's like on fire. I don't know. How so recent what? is this? Like uh, yesterday, and oh, that sounds rough. Whoa, wait, wait, we need to go there now. What? No, no see, we don't. We sort of have other clearly just con men. I mean, who I else climbs when? up a mountain to tell you they're burning and they need to get free ice? Clearly just con men. Hang on, Why would they the... climb up a mountain? When were the other two? I don't know, because they wanted ice. Do you, when are, were are you... the other two? Uh, like the other day. And the... oh. then there was one about 30 years ago that tried the same thing. Do you want free ice? Is that what it is? I have free no. samples. I have, no. not, I have a bag of snow. Honestly, we're all right. Yeah, on snow front. and ice aren't the same, are they? Well, yeah, true. One but... of them's cold and the other one's like puffy. Wait, so is Avril burning or, or not? No, of course it's not burning. Don't be silly. Uh, I want to like. Uh, hey, can I like check? borrow your like? Yeah, can I just, like step outside for a second? Uh, so we yeah. can check because I can just like check right now. Should, like, just... Okay, I'm just gonna like step outside. Should've... Open the door. Well, 
The problem with that is she gestures to the roof where there is a hatch with oh. no clear way to get to it. Uh, Sarah, if you want to help him out. Yeah, want me to chuck you? <laughs> chuck me? Is that compulsory? Can what I? Is it? How high is it? <laughs> yeah, how high is it? High is about. Uh, let's see. It would be uh, about nine feet from the sort of center point. Okay, so, it's... so yeah, I can just like that. hold me. Yeah, hold me. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll just lift him up and. Okay, okay. yeah, I just want to open. Give him a hand. Yeah, you open it. Uh, is it outside out there? Yeah, it does appear to be. Can I clamber out? Uh, you can, yeah. It's very cold. A lot of snow sort of falls it in. It is the cold. Wave. Let's try and heat it up. Can, like, a decent distance away, just open the gateway to the middle of Avril. Okay. Just the center of the, the square. You open the gateway to the middle of Avril. Yeah, uh, look through. Little ways outside. The, uh... Yeah. The sort of, um... Yeah, sorry, um... Uh, it is midday, so yeah. The, the uh, as you open the gateway, the uh, the sort of world in front of you stretches and bends open, and you see through into Avril Town Square. Is there any massive pillars of smoke? No. It just appears. I like to stick my head through. How are we looking? We looking nice and not burning. You stick your head through. Okay. Uh, Put my mask on, obviously, because I'm not a fucking moron. Right, okay, I was going to say. Yeah, no, I'm just going to stick my naked pan hot pandle face and melt it away. Uh, half my charisma, thank you very much. Uh, yes, as you look through, nothing seems to particularly be on fire. Things look mostly the same as they did before. Okay, pull my head back, close <laughs> the gateway, come back down, and be like, okay, yeah, so they were conning you, it's not on fire, everything's fine. Just good to check. Yeah. See, I told you, you're just trying to con me. You just Why would we then go verify really a con that we... Because you'd be like, aha, we're not a con, they're a con, see? We're not, we're not, we're even, not even asking ice. for anything. We just want you to come with us. Yeah, yeah. We just want to like, show up some other time and invite you to a free party. There'll be books. We can get Fasana to bring some books. I, d I don't... Wait, who? Fasana, the learned Fasana. one. Oh. She has, a, she has a lot of books. Yeah, she has a lot of books. Yeah, she's, she's got poetry. She's, she's, she's a bitch, though. Is she? Yeah. You, know you know her? You know her? Yeah. Huh. She, like, That's gestures nice. to uh, a small shelf, which appears to have some books on it. Uh, mostly well, from reading. Okay, well, okay, well, well mostly. Well, she is really nice. Do you want to meet her? Uh, no. Why not? Well, all her books are about, like, sacrificing people. They're awful. Well, yeah, well, clearly you've, you've got some critiques. She's open f for criticism, but, like, in person only. So if you, like, go and you can you can be like, I have my grievances with your 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 library that you have, con your books you have constructed over many years. Also, let's save the world. Wait, and oh, it'll yeah, be like, a, it'll be great. She has a giant library. Are you with these with people? Us? Like, are you trying to get... Are you trying to turn me into a sacrifice? No, is that's... that what it is? Because no one would mess a house me up You would be on way too inconvenient of a sacrifice. Despairing. Like, honestly. We could just, like, push Matthias into something. He'd probably just die. Like, like it'd be way easier. Yeah, he already he died flesh... a couple of times. Yeah, I was about to say, I think you need flesh people for that. Yes, yeah, he's an elf. He's not got any flesh on him. Yeah, no. Trust me, if we were going to sacrifice someone, we wouldn't be going to all this trouble. We'd just find someone else. Yeah, but, like, I don't believe you, and I think you're really shady. Well, like, make sure the lighting's right, so, like, you know... Yeah, no, it looks to be fine. I don't think... I mean, I don't think so. I mean, I understand you're apprehensive, but, like... Oh, yeah, I, would, but would I, it... I don't know, you're just you're a weird, like, man that came out of my fireplace and are now saying many strange things. I just... I don't believe you. I mean, I drank your tea, didn't I? It was right, quite nice, by the way. I... it's... thanks, it's great. I made it myself. It's yeah. I watched it. It was good. It was good. I thought you were an ice farmer. Oh uh, yeah, but you know that's cold. So you gotta make tea, which is warm, and then it's like warm and cold, and then it's just middle. That's wise words. So you bought the tea, but then you put it in a mug. Well, I mean, the mugs are made of ice. She like they are. Bites. She like picks one up and just bites it. Yeah. How is it not melting? Because it's cold. 
Well, you put yeah, you put but you found weird ice. Well, water in it. I don't understand. Yeah, but the ice is cold, isn't it? Yeah, but it should yeah. melt with hot stuff. Well, what if you left it? That's why you don't leave it. I'm so confused. But you drank it, didn't you? And then it's not no matter. Well, that makes perfect sense. It's just been strange. <laughs> what 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 are you people even? I died. Um, what are you really doing here? I don't believe you. I, I, We're really doing that. It makes perfect sense. It's just a little strange. Well, it's more yeah, than a little strange. Like, ah, the world's ending. Ah, there's people, and also the world's ended before, so it's fine. It doesn't matter. No, it's not fine. And, oh, look, I know a guy who was on a magic island who was floating, and he made crystals, and he was small and yellow, but also big. And This is what the crystals are, by the way. I pull out one of the crystals. <laughs> if you... See, that's proven things. That's a little more like, you know... Uh, actually, it doesn't really prove anything, but it, you know, that's just sort of... What? It's like, I don't know what it does, to be honest. It's blue? Um, yeah. Didn't it give you, like, vision when you snorted it? I, I think if you snort those ones, you might explode. Oh, Ooh, that, that sounds fun. Dark. From Cockhammer's book, they were like, the green ones were sort of like, eh. The red ones were like... Yeah, and those ones were like, yeah. so you know. Why aren't those for items? Are these drugs? Oh, well, I... I think so. But... No, they're not. Yeah, fun. they are. Suddenly... Ah! Yeah, they are. Suddenly, I'm interested. See, no. we have drugs. We're fun. We're party people. Hence, why we're inviting you to a cool party. I can't just face bombs. Oh. Yeah, we're having a rave on uh, Lassero, if you would like to join. <laughs> yeah, it'll be, it'll be a great time. We'll pick, we'll come pick you up. Uh, great. Sure, I still don't trust you at all. Any of you? You're just not, well, what's... not very trustable. What if we give free drugs? I mean, that just makes you makes really people suspicious. Less trustable. Yeah, and if you put the drugs in her tea, but that's even worse. Don't do even try it. You that we're trustworthy I mean, there's already drugs in the tea. You don't need to worry about that. Oh, nice. Wait, huh? Wait, really? Yeah, it's full of laxatives. Oh. That makes sense. If there was anything inside of me to avoid, I'm sure, you know, something would happen. Hey, but is there anything we I hope it's I shit so Uh, what? Is there anything that we can do to prove to you that we're trustworthy? Uh, not murder people, not kidnap people. Well, we've, I haven't done any of those things. Not randomly shot by walking through people's fireplaces? Didn't well, we didn't do. know it was in your fireplace. Yeah, well, we're only going to do that once next time we've warned you, so... Yeah, but just don't come back. We sort of need to, and uh, I really don't want everything ever to die, including you. So I'm sort of quite invested here. I thought you said it's already oh. done this like twice, though, and it was fine, isn't it? Because we're still here. What if we just what if we just bring her to Ayan and see some Yavin? Ah, uh, that would be boring. Yeah, I think she's really gonna want like everyone else to be there before she goes, which is sort of the problem. They're building like a hall of flowers. See, I said that flower and stuff was gonna be a problem. Yeah, but everything's gonna be a problem. We have to get a bunch of people to coordinate a schedule so they could all meet up. It's honestly a pain. So they can just like talk at each other for hours. Like who does that? Bring like little trinkets, maybe like, you know, play dice game or something, it's dumb. Not the point. So we need to orchestrate a rave is what we need to do. Yeah, honestly, I think I think a rave would be good. Mm. Like a little dance floor. Mm. It'd be great. You could do the music. Yeah, I'd it would be music. It'd be great. I can do like drinks and super fast. Okay. Astra, you can be the star. I'm sorry, that was a, that was very bad. You that. hear a clang as Matthias face balls. <sighs> Are you here to make puns with me? I mean, that wasn't the intention, but you yeah, sort of kept us right. longer than we intended to be here because we sort of was like, you were like, th uh, hoped you'd be like, oh, I understand the gravitas of the situation, the desperation you're in to not have literally everything you've ever known or cared about die and wipe drop th off the face of the earth because it is preventable. And hear your plea, and will uh, politely do as you ask. I bitterly, tentatively, that's fine. But instead, you're like, oh, I don't like it. Want an epic poem? So I put it in epic poem form. And yet, still, we're not quite there. 
And you know, well, when I get antsy, I get punny. It's bad. I mean, yeah. Also, your cape is trying to like knock my candles over. So if you could don't. Uh, yeah. Be see, it does that. That's that's the that's the puns. Uh, I just can't handle it. You know, it's it's not. I'm sorry. It's not. Uh, <sighs> it's No pun is below. So what? Not much is below. So what are you trying to say? You want me to go to Lassero? Yeah. If we just like come yes. back at some point, like, hey, could you come with us, Lassero, to maybe stop the literal end of the literal entire world? Right. When can is you this? Be like, I, have, uh, okay. I have a business to run. Ah, uh, we can. We can. Uh, can we? Uh, can we RSVP? I'll like. I'll brain message you. I can. And then we can. We can arrange the exact date. Is that good? I can take those days off. Thursdays. Thursdays? Sounds good. Okay. Sure. It'll we, be a Thursday. If we can keep your schedule open, that'd be great. Cool. I'll book as much things as I can on Thursdays from now on. Ah, uh, well then, you're a bad person. And you should do this to us. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, well, literally, like, every life on the planet is, like, effectively in your hands right now. Yeah, so... well, so is my business. And that one's a little more tangible, so... You know. Well, there's no business. To sell, some to farm. Well, yeah, but you can run your business. That That is fine. But if we ask you to take, like, one day off your business, don't you think you well, give us no. an option? For the What's your sort of daily profit say, margin? Oh, we are definitely going to book that day full. Uh, a few hundred thousand kind of gold? A few hundred thousand gold, first of all. Can I, uh... No. Got apprentice lots open? Okay, well, worth a try. Uh, second of all, insight check that, because clearly she's lying to us. Go for it. Who fucking knows? Yeah, she's uh, quite hard to read. But yeah, she's a uh, stars. That makes um, sense. Excuse me. Yeah. What? Well, hi. Have do you, you have a face? Have you never you noticed a drop in sales while you've been up here? Uh, well, I'm not selling things currently. That's great. Okay, but I mean significantly. Tomorrow's sales are currently dropping. A number of sales, a uh, drop in sales so big that you might think, where the fuck did all my customers go? Uh, no, For not really. Period of time. Nowhere in the 3,000 years you've been here. Mostly people in Avlock. That makes a lot of sense, actually. It gets quite hot over here. Wait, are you the... Oh, that makes... Huh. What? Oh, no, sorry. Just, like, sometimes, you know, good day, you buy ice. Is, did you supply all the ice, or just some of it? I mean, most of it. I don't know of anyone else that makes ice. Oh, Maybe there's people with, like, little trinkets like yours, but no, I make authentic ice, so I sell a lot of that. Yeah. There's a sort of mountainous flavour to it. A lot of people, they, they pay a lot of money for that. Yeah, no, it's fine. I got given some after but after. the question is, do they pay one. hundreds of thousands of gold inside Jack 22? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I lived in Novlog. How much was ice? How much was magic? Astra ice. Ice? High quality ice. And yeah. th there is actually a really big business for ice in Ovlock. High quality oh, ice. The hundreds of thousands, unless you're selling this to, like, I don't know, like a high end, um, uh, like, like the nobles or whatever, and, and you're selling them daily, hundreds of thousand gold, probably pushing it. But. Yeah, okay. Like uh, lucrative, just not like yeah, that lucrative. Okay, not ridiculous lucrative, but actually quite a lot of money in it. Yeah, okay, no, that makes a lot of sense, especially if you can yeah. get it there quickly. Um, you How do you get from here to Offlock before the ice melts? That's my question. How did you get from Melakadi to here before you melted? Well, we have a magic we box. Aha! Uh -huh. You have a magic box? No, I have a fountain. A fireplace. Did I say fountain? I said fireplace. Does I go green when things happen there? Uh, no. Oh, play. It would melt the ice, so I just put it out. That's... Um, are you stupid? So... Yeah, but I thought it would like Wait, green, so... like magic fire. That wouldn't if melt you down. walk through your no. fireplace, does it automatically go to off block? No. Oh. She like gestures at it. Mostly goes to the wall. Or like look at look at the fireplace and be like, it does appear to be a wall behind it. Do you have a magical box as well? Uh, no. Well then, how do you, how do you? 
I don't put the fire out and then you press the stones and then it makes it go to a flock. Huh. Yeah. But it only does that from the other side. I am going to finish my tea. Mm hmm And I'm just gonna stand up. Um, excuse me, where should I leave this cup? Uh, not on the table, hopefully. You can eat it. Right. I'll just sit back down. Can I... Are you okay? Do you need something? Can I help you? I mean, I'm kind of, I'm not right. used to ice cups. I kind of expect the dishes needed to be done or something like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And you just... I mean, you can melt it. You can eat it. It's high quality ice for a lot of money. Don't just leave it on the table. Guess I'll eat it. Thanks. You're welcome. But how much money are you really going to lose if you have one day where you go to... La last row? Last row. Well, quite a lot, usually. Well, how much? Uh, and hundreds of thousands is an exaggeration, and you know that, and I know that. I mean, it is, yeah, but like, maybe a thousand gold? Well, mm, a thousand gold in direct sales, and then there's, like, losing bulk discounts, because I would not be spending money on resources, which I need to then... So probably into the two or three thousand gold. Quite a lot. On one day? Mm-hmm. Quite a lot. And if you had an, a couple weeks to prepare for that one day? I'd probably lose quite a lot more money. That makes no sense at all. Well, if I'm away for a couple of weeks and I lose a no, lot of money? No, I mean if you have a couple of weeks to prepare for leaving one day. You know, like buffer stocks? You could have like a, you know... Oh! No, it, it's ice. It doesn't stick around very long. you like on the top of a cold mountain? Yeah. Is this where you get it? Well, I mean, it's where we grow it, but it's high quality ice, so it doesn't stick around very long. If you just leave Let's it go. out, it, well, if you leave it out, it becomes shitty mountain ice. No one wants that. It tastes of oh. goat piss. Don't live in their goats. There's a really simple solution to that. Have you been to mountains before? I'm not much, yeah. if I'm honest. There's not that many goats all the way on the top. There's, like, goats everywhere. Have you been to mountains before you are gone? <laughs> I mean, I've been to mountains before, yeah. <laughs> not, has a lot of goats. There's not goats on the way to the top of the mountain. I mean, on the way, but not on the top, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I know that. I think we should hire the goats to steal all her ice forever, and then <laughs> we can we will see what no bit and we're like, that's what no business is now. Please allow the world to continue. Thanks, motherfucker. Honestly, I'm not hearing a better plan. We could hold a ace hostage. Buy a goat. Yes. Ah <laughs> oh, fuck, I can't do that. Fucking tongue curse, damn it. Um I write down on a piece of paper, I think we should just hit her over the head and kidnap her. To and then give it to uh, paddle. I'm like, don't pass notes in class and know that's an awful idea. Why would we want hey, to pet just goat? Rude. doesn't make any sense. What? I mean, you should. I was like, screw up the piece of paper and just put it in my pocket. <laughs> like, put it in my bag of holding. Don't hit me over the head, that's just rude. Yeah, Molly, what the fuck? I, I don't have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, she like crosses her arms and like frowns at you guys. Yeah, that's not. But listen, as it just comes to the See, thing. I'm beginning to think you're just a bunch of dangerous criminals that have drugs. I mean, we do have drugs, yeah. if that is. Not criminals, though. Well, technically we are. Shut the no, fuck up, Sarif. He looks at you and like... That's, that's not Sarif. I'm just saying, we yeah. are. Though. I mean, no, we absolutely are. <laughs> I think the thighs can't even spend places. time in jail. Yeah. Okay, here's yeah. the thing, though. One way or another, what we want is going to happen. Right? I mean, not really. We're gonna move on to the next person now. What we want is going to happen, so one way or another, you're going to think it is. where we want you to go. Yeah, no, but it is, though. Well, no, not necessarily. We can just bring everyone here, and we can have more people intrude no. your house during your no, reading. No, can't, because the fucking plants are gonna make a problem out of it. No, because they said, she, no, Iana was like, if we bring, if you bring everyone, she'll have a problem. She just wants to be with all her friends. So we just bring them all through, 
Or, like, point up oh, at the yeah, rafters. But, like, look, they can oh, sit yeah. along there. They'll watch. It'll be a great time. Yeah, but didn't you mm. just like talk to Vizana and didn't she just tell you that no? Or something? No, actually, no, we Vizana just talked to Vizana and she said yes. No, oh. I think she said, that, like, the other place, not here. Yeah, well, Again, change plans. We can travel around really quickly. Mm. Well, we yeah, I, I mean, I, I can see that. Really I'm aware. I'll be watching you people. It's quite amusing, really. How have you been watching us? How do you think I've been watching you? I mean, right here, right now, yeah. Yeah, I've got eyes, don't I? Like, taps on our own eyeball. That's really gross. Why did you tap your own eyeball? That's so fucked up. Well, I wasn't going to tap yours. That would be worse. I had to agree. I Never mind, I take that back. Paper. I was really careful about hiding it from you. I mean, not really. You were writing yeah, in, my own, in my house, so... Well, yeah, but I'm on the other side of the room from you. You can't read every single thing that someone writes. Yeah, Marley, you know how you can, like, see out the back of your face? Well, she doesn't have a robot eye. Or maybe she's just got, like, a really, really nice eye patch on. What do you mean you've been following us, seeing us? You mean in here or you mean outside of that as well? Oh, yeah, no, uh, definitely in here. Absolutely that. Inside Wait, check. Yeah, yeah. yeah, please. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Why does bitch know who we is? Uh, mm. Okay. Can I do some, like, fucking astrology? What does her star sign say? Uh, her, her star sign says stop looking at my tits. Um, I'm such a Libra, oh my god. I'm a fucking Libra. Party. Look, I'm, I'm just a Capricorn. It's just what I do. <laughs> <laughs> you can't blame me for it. I'm just such a Scorpio. Um, we, you can't help it, we know you're just cancer. <laughs> I mean, that was just savage. Uh, well, I mean, you can't prove it, so that's fine. Okay, okay, but, like, what does the inside check tell us? Because you didn't actually I tell. mean, okay, the inside check, she... Definitely knows who you are. She's definitely been watching you outside of. Uh, she knows more than she's letting on. She has. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, quite clearly been watching you guys outside the house. Very much is for sure. Uh, you know how she said, uh, "Oh yeah, weren't you just a Melicardi after you guys didn't tell her that?" Yeah, I yeah. thought we told her everything. I thought we just explained our whole search. Yeah, I sort of figured that was. Oh uh, well. My bad. Maybe. It's just possible. Yeah, she was like, oh, you just came from Melicardi? I thought this was... Sorry, I thought that was before you were explained the whole... Yeah, we've just been to Melicardi. Oh. Okay, yeah. well, but if you can see everything, then can't you see that Ezef is literally dying and you should do something about it? I mean, yeah, I, I can, but, uh... But you're selfish? You no. don't care about anyone else? No, not really, I just sort of you're don't... You're heartless? You've been... That's a bit rich. You've been calling us gunmen this whole time while you can bloody well see what's going on? Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Honestly, we should just, just give up, because this, this woman is clearly a heartless bitch who doesn't care about anyone else. She only cares about her ice business, so really, what's the point in even trying to ask her for help in saving the world? Because, because we care, and that's the... why we're... what? Nah. Oh, well, let's okay. Just, let's just come back in a couple weeks and knock her over the head and kidnap her to the last row because clearly we're not going to convince this ice cold, heartless bitch. <laughs> I, ice Queen would have been way more eloquent, but yeah, but yeah, she's going to see that coming. Oh, so now she's going to hear that coming as well. So good job. Marty, what the hell just like is have wrong a chat with you? Because I was trying to get you to explain it for the council because they won't fucking believe me. As she says that, Hot. the room around you guys seems to sort of. Um, meld away, melting into what? nothingness. Her own visage melts away into that of. Uh, what's her name? They Locus. Oh, they Locus. It's fucking. Is it Larkin? Is it Lark? I'm gonna fuck him up. Is it Larkin? Okay, no, it's not Shakes. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Okay, never mind. I'm super happy about this. <laughs> so what the fuck, Nod Shakes? We're trying <laughs> to find a bitch. <laughs> you, oh, hey, uh, the room around you sort of melts and vanishes. And just outside the borders of the otherwise small room that you were in, which is probably the reason there was no door on the side, is a sort of round um, stone brick chamber, looking like the inside of some kind of castle tower. 
around which you see three other chairs. There's a, a foreign sort of cross pattern. One of them is obviously vacant, and it's white. One of them is vacant, and it's blue. And there's a black one with a, a woman sat in it, and a red one with a sort of man sat in it. Both the, uh, the, the black um, woman has, like, dark skin, and this sort of um, almost flowing... It's not how much hair is it, it's just shadow. And uh, wears sort of a thick, uh, like, black leather armor. And the red man seems to be almost on fire. So, it's sort of, they're both looking at you. Uh, as soon as that happens, I'm pulling out my eyes. hammer and just screaming, Who the fuck is playing tricks on my mind? God damn oh. illusions! <laughs> oh, Alyssa, I was actually just going to call for you in like a bit. How have you been? Hi, Pando. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. Wait, did you say one guy was on fire? Uh, yes, the, the red man appears what? to be sort of slightly fire. What? Do they what? look like they could be elemental beasts, perchance? Uh, in the the more human form? Yeah, they they, they might be. Wow, that what? makes a lot of sense. What the hell is going on here? Sort of Hi! A little bit Not spoken in a while. It's good to see you all. Hi, Alyssa! Yeah, it hey. is, uh... Do you have a? This, what's this nonsense about the council not the council not believing you? The world's ended once before, hasn't it? So, um, I mean that the sort of the the red man, uh, like speaks up. If it's ended I mean, once before, I don't see why it can't do again. Right, because we live in it. And we lived in that one too. Okay, and I'm fairly certain. A lot of other people also live in that one, and don't anymore. A lot of people die. It happens. Our job is not to preserve life. What is your job? Who are you? Do you even have a job? What's your hourly rate for this? A lot more than you can afford. Who are you? Oh, I wasn't going to hire you. I don't think you're very good at it. Well, you're alive, aren't you, Pandal? Well, apparently that's not surprising. your responsibility. <laughs> Can someone tell me what's going on? Yeah, honestly, I'm with Marley, though. Like, what? Alyssa, do you want to explain? Um, Checks my buddy, my pal. What's happening? So... Okay. Uh, well, I've... You guys mentioned uh, Astra a while ago, so I tracked her down and talked to her about this. And uh, she's willing to meet you guys. I told her the, uh, to meet... Uh, at um, Lassero, once you had uh, obviously set that up as the meeting point, so she's actually there now. Oh, nice. Um, I had to set this up and intercept you on the way through the gateway. That was difficult. The that's the second time that happens. Yeah, the keeper. He'll be back, by the way. <laughs> Crap. Probably gonna want one of those books. That's sort of an unending no, curse thing. I'm not gonna grab it for him. Uh, it, it, he is going to kill you then. And next time there'll be more. He failed last time. Yeah, but there'll be two next time. That's great. Each time Jeez. you kill one, they duplicate. It's a problem. How do we stop that permanently? Give it the book. Wish? There is no book I, anymore. If you had a wish, that would Probably do it. Yeah, that would be nice. I... Yeah, <sighs> there's no book anymore. I've got no clue. I'm, I'm getting that back. Might need to get one. one. Uh, regardless, we're here, and I... unfortunately, I've had to deceive you to try and get the council to understand why we need you to see. Uh, the goddesses and get their help and why we need to do anything about this end of the world situation unfortunately right. and she gestures towards the blue, the empty sort of vacant blue chair the council has oh, been shit. at an indecision for some time and it has it has recently fallen out of my favor 
as the only, my only ally on this council, uh, was murdered by a certain friend of yours. A certain friend of mine in particular. A certain friend of not oh, yes. yours. You know the last god, the one we were talking about? Th yeah, that guy. Yes. He had his hair, though. It was like... Oh, that... Bando? Yeah. Council? Uh, news to me. It just pretend like you know what you're doing. That's what I've been doing for the past 80 years. It's fine. Um... Best life advice you'll ever get. <laughs> Panic yeah. the indie character. Have 20 charisma and pretend you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, how does the council. Is it like democratic? What's the system here? Yes. Right. And you don't want to save the world? And the, you were uh... four. Yes, we were. And, and the um, black lady leans forward in her chair. We have no need. To save this world, it is of little consequence to us. Why? Because this world is not ours, and we do not fear this god of yours. Well, if this world is not yours, then why are you even here at all? Then why did the blue guy what... die for it? Yeah, what is your what is your response? Because he was a fool. What is your job? What is your role? Who are you? I didn't vote for you. And also, don't you, like, get taxes from us or something? That's how councils work, right? We are here to protect the balance between the planes. Right. And one plane being turned to absolute shit is not going to upset the balance. It will right the wrongs that have been made in that plane. What wrong? You see, well, f some of you see a familiar face step out of the shadow behind her. As Larkin steps out from behind there the black is. lady. There he is. In his dwarven form, and he look, sort of looks at you guys. I don't you... know who that is. Not really uh, helping your case yeah, right now. Yeah, we, uh, we know him. He was sort of like a whole thing. We may have like like murdered some people. It was it was like it was a real bad day. It was, it was very nice. confusing. But we like cleared it up. It was you know, I have, honestly I feel really kinda of bad about it. But like don't tell Larkin that. Because me and Larkin don't get on very well. But like I do feel really bad about what we did. Your plane has been leaking at an exponential rate. It is tearing itself apart. If something is not done about it soon. It will destroy Trimoria. What is that? What is what? What does right. that mean? J may I interject? Have you considered that if there's no one here to attempt to solve it, it's not going to be solved? It is being solved. You aim to stop that. So destroying the world is going to prevent the leak from happening. What? Like, look to nod shakes, because I don't know how true this is. She sort of, like, nods slowly. <sighs> okay, hold on, because the world, is not actually the, being, the world is not actually being destroyed, though. Everything's just dying in it. So the leak is not going to disappear if you kill... You know, the ocean's not going to stop having water in it if you kill the fish. It's not just death, it's decay. There's a difference. The flux doesn't quite work like that either. Exactly. The older the flux gets, with time it stops, it calms down, it stops tearing holes and things. Where the last god has been working, the flux has all but completely vanished. He has already sealed multiple rifts out of this plane. Why? Because that's kind of a good thing. He aims simply to decay everything. He is the embodiment of decay. But don't you need all the wor the worlds to have bounds between the worlds? We, oh, uh, the black lady speaks up. We overlook the 
balance between them, not the worlds themselves. We ensure that they do not leak and not too many people pass from one to the other. I was about to suggest, why don't we just move everyone from one to the other? But you're going to be real picky about that? Do we have, like, passports? What's like... I mean, surely once he's done, you're not going to just sit somewhere and retire. I do not expect him to. I expect him to simply fizzle out of existence. How is that? Because once he has decayed everything else, there will only be one thing left for him to decay. Or he'll move to a different world and start decaying that one. I doubt that. Is he Why? Is he currently He's powerful, clearly. The express intention of just ma making this world stop leaking flux everywhere. Because he's born of the prime material, he is not the same as your other goddesses you have been seeking. He is more... just sort of like gestures vaguely. He is more linked to the prime. So? With oh, it. If he's a crazy psycho murderer, he's not gonna stop psycho murdering when he finishes with one house. We're linked to the prime, we've been hopping around. You haven't been destroying worlds. Well, yeah, that sort of was the opposite yeah. of our intention, if you were paying attention. I do have a question, though. And what is that? If you went to literally every other plane and did the same thing there, and just nothing existed there anymore, and literally some of them already have sort of nothing, but like if literally nothing happened anywhere ever again, what would happen to you lot if there's no balance to maintain, because literally nothing is happening ever? Would you fizzle out of existence? How does that work? And if we were to like give him trips around, you know, but like, hey friend, we've had beef, but like if we just give you a trip to this other plane right before you destroy this one, but you know, would that like speed up the process? We can get rid of the democracy luck, because honestly, democracy is great until you don't get to vote, and then it doesn't really work anymore. There is an unending number of planes. If you were to do that, you would have to destroy them all. Fair enough. But if... like, okay, so let's say if we just went like left one, and then he just wiped that out. What happens, you including this one at that? If he does not continue his work in the prime left one will be destroyed anyway. Tremoria will fall to ruin, literally. If he continues his work in the Prime, he will destroy his own source of power. Yeah, well, what about we try to find a solution for this leak that doesn't involve murdering everything? We've been searching for solutions to your leaks for thousands of years. But your people have hunted us. But you were kind of like dicks and didn't communicate and didn't respect us enough to try, which, I mean, that's a point. But why don't we, okay. Neither did get, you. Get like a little, I mean, we, I shouted things at you, to be fair. You could have been like, hey, don't hurt me. I am a sentient being and would really not like to die. That could have, would have really helped, honestly, all of you. But that's beside the point. It's much harder to do when you do not have vocal cords. Well, you haven't found I anything. remind you that you assaulted us first upon our first um. meeting. Again, true. Misunderstanding. Why don't oh, we just, like, get back into decay? Effect. Just smush I the holes. I wasn't involved in any of this stuff. Can we please just discuss what you found and put our heads together and see if we can figure something out that doesn't involve murdering everything? Right, well, for one exactly thing, what... I gave you one part of a solution, but you have apparently been unwilling to use it. Right, what? okay, ending the world is, like, not something we're up for. Yeah, again, you might have to, like... You have had in your possession, ever since you first encountered us, a world anchor. Did that fix the shit? Yes. Okay, question. New question time. So you've been watching us this whole time, and we've just had this. You were like, hey, it might be important. And we were like, okay, we don't like you very much. We're not going to believe you because we think you might still be trying to play tricks on us. If you're like, oh, it's it will save, literally help save the world. Do you think you might have been more willing to try it? You know, just instead of watching and being like, oh, I don't know. They don't seem to be that willing to save literally everything. You think maybe you've been like, by the way, guys, just so you know, you don't understand this thing. You have no knowledge of it. Just, just so you know, if you just like open that fucking bottle or whatever, I've lots already... of things are going to be fixed, so just do us a solid. I've already told you that, but you didn't believe me. 
Do you mean this thing that just fell out of the bottle holding it by the neck? Yes, I mean that thing. Open it! Let's go fucking open it right now, what are we waiting for? What a what wonderful idea. No. Uh, and Alyssa, are like, you... shakes her head. Yep, not on the Prime. Not anymore. Okay, well, right. well, 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 let's go back, open it, and then we can continue this conversation I'm here. Why are we waiting? No, stop. I want to know what the fuck this thing does now, because if it's so important to your Larkin, then why do you never bother to tell us? I did tell you. Did hey, it might be important. I said, hey, open it. It is important. What does to it paraphrase do? paraphrase yourself. It will suppress the flux around it. Okay, where does it go? Let's go, right, right now. What are we waiting for? Hit the gate stone, let's go! That's most of it, is it yes. Is it just the, the lost god that fixes the flux, or does this, like, little things to float around him help as well? Little... Um, the red man sort of looks at you. Little things. Well, the, the like, sh shades things that, like, age people? Ah, they are manifestations of his will. They aid him, but yeah, he is perfectly capable alone. Not that they don't help. Right, okay, again, where do we put the fucking anchor? Can we... Anywhere. Focus, world to save. Is... And literally anywhere, okay. I'm just gonna boop the gate stone for fucking Avril, why not? Okay. Um, yeah, as you do that, the, the gate sort of shimmers and opens behind you. It sort of seems slightly flickery. Like, around the edges, it's... It's like looking at, uh, you know, um, an old CRT monitor. It's, it's like, really staticky, despite showing the picture as best as it can. If you look at it, like, up close, it's very much like that. It's sort of staticky. And the guy you talk to who you know, you trust him, right? Take that as a yes, absolutely, with my life and this thing. Let's go give it to him. Let's open the bottle. He can look after it. Wait, so uh, so you step through the portal? No, not yet. I'm having a discussion this side of the portal once I know I can open it. Okay. Um... Carne is non-responsive. I'm going to slap a Carne dramatically. Rick. I'm not actually going to do that, but I want a token gesture to wake Rick up out of his trance that Rick is... Ugh. Damn it. Dang, dang. Okay, never mind. I want to close that portal. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, what else do we have that's secure? Uh, yeah. What about Fornadur? You know, I don't have one there, and I'm not going to fucking look in this stone right now. I will just give it to... Like literally anyone. Why? What about? Does it matter? Do we have to give it to someone? Do we just have to open it and leave it somewhere? Does it matter? What about Lassero? If there's a bunch of gods there already. Yeah, that's good. Okay, yeah, Lassero. We're going Lassero. That would work, I suppose. The. Uh... Oh, again, why? You... And people, communication very important. Right. Just open to Lassero. You might as okay. well come with us. Again, it's weirdly static. Uh, yeah, I don't care. I'm no, gonna... no, 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 don't go over through that one. Last row is apparently staticky, so we're not fighting that guy right now. It's a staticky, and it's not solid black. Last time it's solid black. Yeah. Avery was staticky as well. Yeah, what? let's go right now. Fix problems. That's what we do, and then we can continue this discussion once we've started on the fix. Okay, I run through the portal. Yeah. Make me an intelligent saving throw. Yeah, I'm falling along, bottle in hand. Yeah. I assume everyone who's trying to go through is making int saves here. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Int save or die. Nice. A 20. Uh, 20, 22. Okay. Int, int save or die? <laughs> int saves are always really bad, by the way. Uh, Pandom yeah, well, of fine. Car Camera. Uh, Marley. You are fine. Mm -hmm. As you three step through the portal, appear on the other side. Wait, no. Yeah. Pandal, Kokama, Matthias, and Marley. You four step through the portal. Oh. You uh -oh. appear in the forest of Lassero. Wasn't there a forest, um, a portal? With the pl oh, wait, that is a forest. Never yeah, that mind. is the forest. That's where the. Yeah. 
right by that gate. Akane, Sereve, you step through the portal, and you don't come out the other side. Oh. Fuck. What? You just threat me. Step into the portal and disappear. Where's Sereve? You all, Where you all see them step through and they just vanish. Oh, well, I don't. They've vanished. They're probably still stuck on the other side because they've got fucking wizardry. Open the bottle. Let's get this started. Call me impatient, but I don't want literally everyone to die. Bob. Matthias? Just gonna bring it up, uncork it. Okay, the second you uncork you... it, I need everyone to make me a strength saving throw. As a massive gout of water bursts out of the end. This nice. not like water look, but this cyan liquid just explodes out of the end of it. <laughs> uh Marley, you're right. Pando uh yeah, Marley and Coghammer, you two are fine as uh Pando and Matthias, you are both blasted off your feet as a seeming unending amount of water begins to wash over the land around you guys. Oh, that's not good. That's super bad. Someone roll me a 1d4 and a 1d100. I'll oh. do the 4. I'll do the d100. Mind them. 2 east. Ooh. 85 miles to the east. Okay. That's not too bad. That's in the water, right? Right? Fuck. About 85 miles east of you. That's in desert. A uh, island appears on four <laughs> legs. <laughs> you. But four legs. Four what? Giant legs. One of the many old sentient islands. You've already been to three of them, but this one, instead of being dormant. Awakened, but it is uh, slightly out of your line of sight. Nothing visually seems to happen. The flooding stop. It does after about ten minutes. Okay, when well, we can fight our way back to the portal, I guess go back through because we have a fucking discussion to finish. Now we've actually actioned the solution. Okay, still open. Yeah, I haven't closed right, it. Right, okay. Wait, um, hold on. I want to see what happened. Can I climb up a tree or something and see what happened? Fuck's sake. Marley, we do. Uh, they have, may have more solutions. We should do as much of this as possible as quickly as oh, possible. Oh, yeah, you go. I don't care. I'm okay. going then. Fuck that. Keep okay. it the portal open for I'm, just, I'm, I'm coming going. along. Okay, you guys uh, make your way through the portal. Marley, you try and start climbing <sighs> up Fucking a tree, but unfortunately, you can't quite make out anything that seems to have happened. Uh, a lot of this forest has just been flooded. With this sort of cyan liquid, which is very quickly uh, fading away. But the signs of that. Oops. Nothing major seems to have happened. Um, that was weird. Okay, fine. Go through the portal. Okay, you make your way down and through the portal. Larkin. Again, it's still static -y, but only from the side that you were looking at before. Okay, immediately on the other side. Where is Ruben Akane? Are they just stuck here by these guys' fucking black magic shit? They're not here. They walked into the portal and just disappeared. Where are Sreve and Akane? Wait, Sreve's not here? Then. Where the fuck are they? As far as you guys know, no time has passed. You step into the portal and we'll sort of get back to you when you are rematerialized. Ah, uh, okay, fair enough. Oh, that's fine. Uh, where are the other two? Hello? Oi, fuck quick council! Where are the other two? What happened to them? It's... Wake up! Fireboy! <laughs> Wake up! It's not difficult. What did you Come do on. to Sreve? That's my best friend, and we've got a fucking world to save. Priority one, what happened to Sarif and Akane? Priority two, let's keep going. Why is Akane second in everything? Because it's not Sarif. Because it's Sarif. Sarif is my best friend of the whole wide world. So, you have just opened a portal from a far plane. Oh, would Such have been nice to know that before we did it. What's going to happen? Risky. Well, there is a chance next time you open a portal. They may step through. And if they don't, you'll probably never see them again. Oh, that's charming. What? Glad you really, you know, warn us about things because you know communication. I just explained very important. Next How thing to save the world, can we hurry here? up? I'm gonna take the bottle by the neck and I'm gonna fucking throw it at Warkin. Okay, you throw it up towards him, but as it hits this outer edge uh, of, of the sort of circular, um, almost auditorium-like area that you guys are in, where they're they're all sat like around the outside. Um, Roughly where the edge of what you guys could see from uh, the uh, where the edge of the walls were when it was sort of illusioned to look like the inside of the house, it shatters against 
a barrier that sort of glows in place as it does. I just uncorked the damn thing, and I'm not saying I'm fucking surprised, but you could have told us that I was about to flood a forest and the fuck knows where that island went. You absolute bunch of guns. I'm glad you take the time to think things through. Well, I'm glad you take the time to fucking inform us when we ask specifically what's gonna happen when we open the bottle. But if you'd asked, calm down. maybe I'd tell what you. What is the next? Step? I did. We asked you last time we fucking spoke to you. That's why we didn't trust you to open it. Now, what is the next step? What now? More solutions, please. Actionable. Let's go. The next step is to keep you here and away from doing anything rash. Because what? Right. Then start fucking talking. <sighs> This council has deemed you a threat to the balance. Oh, that's fantastic. Is that democratic solution, North Shakes? Did you vote on that? Yeah, I voted. Oh. oh, blue guy, I can stand in. I think we're the only thing trying to fucking solution anything. Right? Clearly you're not. Clearly communication, little bit of a problem with you people. Massive problem. Massive goddamn problem. Yeah, like, Sarif size problem? I want my best friend back, please. Can you, like, bring him we here? Are... You've got all-powerful magic. You we are in favor of sorting this out with as little loss of life as possible. Communication seems not particularly to be your strong suit, does it? Doesn't seem to be yours either, mate. Yeah, we have slightly emotionally charged right now, you fat fuck. Yes. Now. Everyone in this room is perfectly aware of that. Oh, that's good. Because you find that's the that's need to blow hot air around. I want to make a like, lovely cool breeze with Presto. Can I do that? Just a lovely cool breeze. Yeah, it's cool uh, everyone down. Not great. It's like a, there's like a vein like in my the side of my head that's like throbbing because I'm getting so fucking angry at this guy. Yeah, well, it's fine. We can't murder him. We know that because Matthias has attempted and failed. <laughs> I want Sreev back, I want Akane back, and I want to save the fucking world. You people know that your method of communication is not the only one. You know there are better methods. So oh. what's the better method? Right. Start talking! Why don't you use it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're like right here. We're literally waiting for you to get our fucking friends back so we can go and fix your fucking problem. This what? is the best we know. Larkin looks to, I believe it is Matthias that he showed his past to. Right. It is because I have a bit. Of, I have a forbidden section of of Matthias' notes. I'm not allowed to look in. Right. Okay. Honestly, I, got brain to, like, I don't. I don't understand what's happening at all. I ever. Think, no I one's ever is, told yeah. me anything. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. So Larkin, he, that's when Larkin, Larkin, Larkin yeah, brain beams some stuff to Matthias. The yes. Matthias is really incoherent about. That was that. That's one. He looks to Matthias. In the great recap, that was that bit. You, in particular, should be aware. Right. You're like beaming a bunch of stuff into his brain, you right? Why don't you just do that? I mean that our pe you have seen how our com people communicate. We are not capable of this. And we are not capable of your communication. So perhaps... Yes, you are. Well, Look at you using your mouth, Lark, and I'm so proud of you. It has if muscles in like it. Three other people here who that's... clearly know what's going on. That's because I am not part of my people anymore. I was deformed. The sacrifice I made because of you. Yes, we understand Because your I had story. to right your wrongs. Yeah, we understand your sob story. We feel very bad for you. Honestly, I felt compassion towards you until about three minutes. We, Alyssa is here. Fireboy's here. This lovely Void Lady is also here. Like, they have mouths and are communicating. Alyssa has done a great job of telling us what's happening. Honestly, she's been, she's been really good about it. You can talk to her. You can brain beam stuff to her. I assume she exists on this higher plane of consciousness, such as you old people. Honestly... Only reason I'm glad to be in this room, right there. I'm not, honestly, Miss Sarif and Akane. That, we'll get back to that.
You people are tiresome. So are you. So can anyone well, explain to me what's to happening to because die. I kind of missed that part. Oh, you and Serena just apparently just happening. fucked forever, but we have matter. no idea. Oh, I, I know what's happened to the portal, but... I, oh, yeah. I mean, I... Well, of, you two uh, might be fucked forever. The rest of us might just be in this place for, like, ever, maybe, because we all might just try and walk out or fail our int saves and just disappear. Okay, well, you know what, sir, Mr. Fire, sir? I don't actually know what's going on at all. I wasn't really directly involved in everything. I'm just a concerned citizen who lives in that world and who has a life in that world and who would really like it if you had some form of compassion for other life. And I know you have a higher purpose or whatever. Then let and me your break some laws and inform you. And you see the other two, like, look at him, like, questioningly. I'll be quick about it. Your world is one that has been in turmoil for thousands of years. Twice now it has been rewritten, and last time it did so, your people destroyed the fabric of your world. It has been seeping and tearing magics into other worlds around it, worlds that have been being destroyed because of it. It has been fundamentally changing the nature of the multiverse. The realm sea is tainted because of it. It's dangerous beyond all else. You have already encountered and lost one of your members to a creature born of such maleficence. You saw gestures to Matthias. Unless you intend to allow every other world to be equally destroyed then you must attempt. Stop what you are attempting to do. For thousands of years we have worked well, quietly us. trying to fix it. But there is no more quiet about it. You have found a solution and you are trying to stop it. Well then help us evacuate them. The people. It's not their fault. They're new. They had nothing to do with the thing that happened a thousand years ago. Most people don't live that long. We don't ha we no one knows that any of this is happening. You need to help us evacuate. What's um, the point of keeping the balance for uh, worlds that don't actually have life in them? I'm looking at not shakes to see how um well to try and gauge how she's feeling about all this. Because your world isn't even close to the most populated one. But it has people in it that doesn't make a difference. You should give us another option to help them, to save them. Are you telling me you're all out of options and just letting it all die is all you've got left? I'm telling you there's nothing else we can... As he goes to finish speaking, a large blade-like protrusion extrudes pretty much through the back of his chair, through his chest, pins him to the, to the sort of wall in front of him. This, uh... Barrier it doesn't seem to come from anywhere. It just appears, and you can you can see it. It seems to be slightly piercing the barrier. And as he he like looks down, and you can see the the light fade from his eyes and the sort of fire of his being fade out. No, no, no! You've got a sentence to finish. Don't you fucking go anywhere. Right, who's joined us? I grab my staff, I'm gonna just, like, patient defense, stand ready. Yeah. Alyssa, like, sighs. The council are bound by unbreakable rules. The blue man and the red man have both interfered. We get her to interfere, and then you can just vote on everything and make our lives a whole lot easier? We can't force interference. Oh, yeah, but if we annoy her enough? Will she let us Wait, out? why did he die? What just happened? <laughs> what? What bullshit rules are these? We are bound by laws created by beings far beyond our comprehension. Beyond your comprehension. Beyond the, comp what? the physical comprehension of this universe. Okay, yeah, but okay, practicalities. The laws he just broke, I assume, telling us what they could and couldn't do, maybe? Yes. What was what was the thing he did wrong? Okay. 
The council is supposed to attempt to remain as hands-off as possible, and when we take action, if we need to, we have... We can't be straightforward about things. How okay. are you alive? Because you I've can't what? I've never told you precisely what I'm doing. I yeah, it's sort of annoying, but like I sort of understand that. What happens if there's like a like a hung jury? Like you have fifty percent vote one way, fifty percent vote the other. What happens then? And then half will choose one option, and half will choose the other. Usually, then what nothing. What happens like practicality? Okay, so nothing. So I assume status quo continues. Yes, usually. So we're still stuck here. So we need that one to break some laws, so then we can get out of here and we can go fix a problem. Yes. That's not, that's... Demo that's not really a democracy thing, they let Again, all in favor of less loss of life. I mean, I we're here, and I'm I'm pretty pro. You know, I sort of you know. That includes her, and I point at the black lady. Yeah, I mean. I had Rick's dead again. No. Oh. And who's snoring? Could be anyone. I else. don't hear any snoring. Is that Punchy? No, he's no, muted. He's oh. That would be quite difficult. Sorry, <laughs> I thought I heard snoring. Never mind. I'm pretty sure it is Rick. He's just breathing heavily. Oh, okay. No. Just panting. <laughs> I'm not panting. Why would I be panting? Sounds like Rick snores. Uh, okay. Well, uh, either way, yeah, so, Alyssa, um, sort of just sighs. I'm afraid it's no longer up to me. I mean, so, you just can't do anything, pretty much? Cause can, we, can, already... can we go back now, please? When the blue man died, I stepped down, because otherwise I faced the same retribution. I see there's just like one person, so she's just like 100% of the vote now? For now, it won't be long. Does that mean you can tell us? I don't think so, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, okay, probably won't miss you. Can you how much can you tell us, like, how the fuck to get out of here without disappearing from existence? Because, uh... You might want to make another one of those portals, maybe your friends will reappear. Yeah, I'm right. sort of hoping. I'm just gonna like close it and just reopen it for uh, Lasso again. Okay. Uh, just try and see if they step in or out. I need you both to roll mm. me a one d one hundred. Oh god. Uh, you if you just oh, kill a Carnage, oh, oh. I'm actually going to be mad at you. Like, yeah. not even... oh. I'm just gonna be really upset. <laughs> Yeah, I'm way less fight. invested, and I'm also going to be upset. You're fine. I'm very invested, three of them. As kind of both uh, Akane and uh, Sarif, yeah, you you see them both step out of the portal into Blaster. Uh For you two, no time has passed. You all just stepped through the portal, but your friends aren't here. There's sort of a damp lock to everything. The ground beneath you is slightly soggy. I'm going to pull out a bit of paper, a single sheet. I'm going to write literally everything that's just happened and explain for them not to come back through. I will find I'm going to close the portal when I see they're on the other side. Okay. I'm going to uh... sit down. I'm going to get the bit of parchment. I'm going to write out literally everything that's happened. Like, dear Sarivi Connie, hey, we might be trapped in here forever. Shit's fucked. We really need you guys to like save the world, like a, a, like a whole fucking lot. And I'm going to I'm going to reopen the portal, try and put it just like put the paper through. Okay. Yeah. You reopen the portal and put the paper through. You guys, uh, the portal closes behind you, and a few, like a minute or so later, the portal opens, and you see Pandal uh, just sort of drop a piece of paper through. Yeah, and it's like, hey, don't come through this side, you might be trapped forever, and it might be like super really bad. Yeah, so you pick it up and read it. We think you might be lucky to be have made it to that side, we did, but then stuff happened. I'll explain what happened, basically. Yeah, okay. Uh, there's quite a lot on it, as it explains... Yeah, I'll wrap all small. Quite a few things. Uh, okay. As you, you get an explanation of everything that's just happened from Pandal, written. And I'll put like a thing on it that's like, just like, send the paper back if you want more explanation. Keep you posted. 
What? Did he just send the paper back? If what? Uh, what? If you want no, him to explain all things. If you're like, you're like, hey, I'll just like, I'll be like, hey, turn it over. I'll give them a little like quill and ink as well, just in case they don't have one. Have like three. How does she? You can't How hear through the paper. I mean, it's two way. You, you can you can talk through the portals. Oh, you can talk. Yeah, yeah you, you can like, hear and see through them. No, he reopened oh. it. To... I reopened oh. it. I'll, I'll, I'll like send that bit of paper through. They'll be like, hey, don't come through. Trust me. It's all in the bit of paper. What? Any questions? We'll do a Q and A session right now because apparently we've got like infinite time before the world ends. I've... Infinite time? What? Infinite time? What? I don't know. It's just like you know, if the world ends and we're like we're stuck here, uh, like in maybe death, then it would probably be quite bad. So. I. Do you think I could make it if I ran through? To the other side. I mean, well, it's. Wait, why can't you come it. through? Well, I, I like, I like, oh, line six. He said it was like super dangerous because we're on like a far plane because we're like sort of trapped here. But like, also we're like not really that trapped here because we can maybe make it through, but it's also like dangerous. So it's like risks. And it's like, is it like, I don't know what, what it's worth risking what anymore, but we just need to find the last couple of goddesses. The question then... is, Vandal, do you believe in me? I mean, I do believe in you, but like, I'm not going to encourage this directly. Yeah, I think we should have a more full conversation. We need to know what you're going to action on the other side before we do anything about it. Because you, Sarivan Akane, you know, you're going to have to do things if you go through. But then what things? Group discussion, not just me. Come on, anybody. Well, Throw them in. How about... Alyssa, can you get us back safely if we need to return? I can do it once. Okay, that's a start. I suppose it would can be considered interfering if I. Okay, right. Ah, uh, yeah, but Don't you do like might die, and you're like. You should probably go quick. Like... And she claps, claps her hands together. You see, Matthias, uh, a spell that you have once cast before, uh, that time you guys left Matthias in Garazeth. <laughs> as you see, a number of um, circles begin forming under her and. Underneath each one of you. Not, not even squircles? No, circles. Connected by lines, they begin to glow. And she sort of looks at you. Good luck! And with that, you were all banished to the material plane. Nice. As you begin to disappear, you think you see, for the briefest of moments, a, a sort of red spray forward from Alyssa's chest. No. Something pierces her through the back. No! Fuck's sake! Why would you? And the number of you, you appear. Pop, 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 pop. Next to Cerevo. Why, why? We could have just run through the portal! Yeah, that would have been a way better plan! Not Jake's! Why did she do that? I don't know. What hey. just happened? Okay, what? so Nodshakes is dead, everything's Wait. fucked, things are worse than we thought they were. Nodshakes is dead? What? Apparently fucking so, I don't know, I don't want to think about it right now. Okay, okay, we're gonna work, okay. What do we have to do? Okay. Last what? god. Hey, maybe he's tearing, like, this plane is tearing other universes apart. We put an anchor down. They didn't want to talk to us about any further solutions, which is a real pain. But that's fine, because we've met Black Lady now, so we'll just, I'll just, like, brain message her at some point. Matthias um, just drops to his knees. Matthias. I get, I get you're already short, no need to rub it in. We got, we got practical solutions. Practical solutions, kids. Okay. Astra's here. Upside. Apparently, not has got Astra here. That's pretty great. We need to go to the underdog. We need to find the next one, right? We're going to have some evacuation plan or something. Like, right? What? Okay, what's the why game the plan here? Why oh. the fuck did she do that? We need to, like, maybe figure out a way to find these leaks. I mean, yeah, but then, like, how do we close? We don't know how to close them. Is the problem. Well, they said the, the, the thingies can help, and maybe there's a way to, to get one of those around. Maybe, like, hey, we need to reevaluate our priorities. Are we going to go after the leaks? Are we going to continue going after the goddess to stop the last god so we can then fix the leaks ourselves? Are we going to fix the leaks ourselves, then go after the last god? What's the play here? Are we just going to evacuate everyone to a different plane and hope for the fucking best? What's the options? Well, I mean, 
how many of the gods do we the goddesses do we have? We have two. Two, yeah. yeah. And we could get Pius as well. And we can also that get Pius, we can rich. get Fasana. And Vimfine. We can get Pius. And, and, yeah, we just need Egan. Egan is the only one we haven't talked to yet. Alyssa just died. So Yeah, I'm again really trying to yeah. She didn't have to Want die. To well, she didn't, but clearly she's made a rash decision, as pointed out, we are all making today. Why? It's fine. Look, listen. What you can bring a half-orc back from the dead, you can bring a Alyssa back from the dead, it can't be that fucking hard. Right now... Matthias, don't need none of your naysaying right now. Right now, we need to action solutions so she has a world to come back to. How find is she... A... Find Deegan? Yeah, I guess we're at Underdark. Yeah. We know they're in a massive mountain somewhere. If we go find Astro, apparently she's here, maybe she knows something. You know, I really she's like she's traveling. Be my, but... be my guest, I'll be a minute. But what, what, do you have a point? I... It was, it was never like this before I met you guys. I... Oh, well, terribly sorry, I make a lot of things a lot worse. I'm gonna just fucking run off and to go find Astro. Okay. Um, you head towards the uh, village where. Um, fucking. whatever her name is. Uh, Iana is? Iana. Who was? Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you head there, she's at said village. Well, so um, I'll go. People want to have a conversation, I'm aware of that. But Pandor's going. Uh, I'm gonna just lean down and give Marley a bit of a hug. She died for helping us. I don't understand uh, why. Maybe she's not dead. Maybe maybe she's just hurt. She they wouldn't She got stabbed through the middle of her chest by a phantom force of like horror and destiny and Yeah, we've we've been stabbed a fair few times ourselves. I mean we we're, we're not too bad, yeah. Oh, you mean, she's a tough lass. She'll, she'll be fine, right? Sarif. Just looking over towards... Uh, I just... Look over towards Matthias, kind of... Knuckles not going white! But if they were skinned, they would be. <laughs> well, well, Matthias, Matthias got eaten by some creature born of this stuff, and he's here. Yeah, yeah, Matthias, Matthias is here. That's... That's... May, may... Maybe... Just maybe... The only... And I mean the only reason I hold even... The slightest hint... Of a slimmer of hope for her... But she did not have to do that... She should not have done that... It's gonna be oh. okay, right? I wanna go home. I, I wanna have we're a home we're... to go back to. We're gonna make it okay. Yeah. We've got to now. She, she's left us no choice, we've got to now. Yeah. Well, what, what they were- I mean, what... you do have a choice before this? Look, no. but before we before you make any rush decisions, they what they were saying about the world leaking into other ah. worlds, and changing the plane. I sh should we be worried about that? Because I care about this world, but if every other world is going to die, Marty, to be entirely honest, we should be. But. Not Shakes was the only one in that room who actually gave a rat's ass about this place and the people in it. First and foremost, the first things we're gonna make sure of is that whatever that thing is doesn't need this place. And if then Arkin 
the black woman, and anybody else wants to come find us. Fine by me, let them come find us. What? I don't give a shit. What are we gonna do? For the sake of not shakes, we're gonna carry what we've been doing. We're gonna do whatever we can. I still don't understand why we're doing it. Because we don't wanna die. It's as simple as that. But none of the goddesses believe us. <sighs> well, apparently Astra was convinced. By not shakes. Yeah. Fuck. But... T wasn't the... Aren't they... Didn't they say that the last time the goddesses teamed up? This what caused this whole mess in the first place? I don't care. I don't care. See what I mean? What if whatever? What? What if? What if? If they team up, we're fucked. And then if they don't team up, team up, we're fucked anyway. Should so we be we torn apart be into nothingness, or be turned to dust? It's not a pleasant experience. I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what we can expect of them, you know? Honestly, neither do I, but it's the only lead we have right now. And there's... what if we just... What if we just, like, go to SF and find the last god and just, like, hit him really hard? I don't care how we do it. We tried that. Didn't go well. Well, you didn't have me last time. I'm a very good right hook. Well, he just looked at Sarive and Sarive crumpled. Yeah. We ain't gonna last. Really? Yeah, yeah. I followed him. Those are problems for later. First things first, we gotta carry on here. Okay, well, then we need to go to the Underdark, right? Yeah. Right, Pandal? Pandal? Yeah. I think we lost one. He's <sighs> gone, gone to find the gods. Yeah, he's... <sighs> Just need to... Just need to start moving because this is. Uh, I can't. I don't know. Just... Go ahead, I'll be a minute. <sighs> let's go, Shreve. Uh, Alright, let's go, yeah. Okay. And um, we go in the same direction Pandal did, I guess. Mm -hmm. So, as you follow along, should we go for a break here? Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. Sure. Good you can! 